everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Speed channel. So in this video, we are going to test the skill combination for Heavy Glove Monk, the attack speed type monk. What are the best skill recommendations for the Heavy Glove Weapon type monk? Previously, I had made a video on the skill recommendation for the Light Glove Hest type monk. If you want to know more about the Hest type monk skill combination for auto attack AFK farming, you can watch that video. The video link is at the video description below. Now let's start with the heavy glove attack speed type monk skill test. Alright, I'm going to start with a clean heavy glove weapon. No upgrade, no enchant, and no refine. As you know, transferring the weapon start will cost a lot of diamonds, and I just don't have the amount of diamonds to transfer my weapon start from my longbow to the heavy glove weapon. Almost all of the heavy glove skill can be crit, so my equipment is not the ideal build to be used for heavy glove monk. I am a penetration build sniper switched to monk to test the heavy glove type weapon. I have penetration enchant on my equipment which is not suitable for crit build and have a rather low crit rate to deal crit damage. That being said, the objective of this test is not to see how much damage I can do. We want to see which skill combination that deal the highest DPS and sustainable for AFK farming. I just want to make it clear before we go in further. For main start attribution, I put all the start points on strength and put the rest of the points on AG for this task. I'm going to make a separate video on which start deal more damage. Does the strength deal more damage or will AG deal more damage for both light and heavy glove weapon? So stay tuned for that video. Now let's start. First thing first, we need all of the passive and buff skills. We need the alkaline blessing and increase agility skill. Blessing will add 20 points of strength. Increase agility will add 20 points of AG. Next, the iron fist, cold spirit, zen, and critical explosion skill. Iron fist will increase the physical attack that scale with AG start. Cold Spirit will generate Spirit Sphere every 4 seconds to a total of 5 max. Each Spirit Sphere will increase your physical damage that scale with the AG start. Zen will instantly generate 5 Spirit Spheres. After using Zen, each Spirit Sphere will additionally increase your physical damage that scale with the AG start. The Critical Explosion skill will consume all of the Spirit Sphere. Each Spirit Sphere consume will increase your physical damage. Next, we need the Gentle Touch Energy Gain and the Rising Dragon skill. Gentle Touch Energy Gain will have 35% chance to generate 1 Spirit Sphere whenever you are attacking. The Rising Dragon skill at another 5 Spirit Spheres. So now you can have 10 Spirit Spheres. This skill also lower down the Spirit Sphere generation time interval. So now the Spirit Sphere is generated every 2 seconds instead of 4 seconds. And lastly, the Crescent Elbow skill. This skill increases the crit rate and crit. But since I don't have enough skill points, I do not level up this skill. Now, put all those buff skills in the skill slot. Start with the Blessing skill and the Zen skill. If you had watched the previous video on the Light Glove Monk skill recommendation, I explained that you should use the Critical Explosion skill first and Rising Dragon after that. Basically, with this arrangement, you will have 10 stack of Critical Explosion Mark that will increase your damage and 5 Spirit Spheres which also increase your damage that scale with the AG stat. Now, also from the previous video, I talked about how much I like the Palm Push Strike skill. It has a low fixed cooldown and also deal a lot of damage at 600%. So this skill can increase a lot of your DPS. Alright, for Heavy Glove Weapon skill, it is all about chain skill or skill combo. There are three chain skill. The first one is the Raging Quadruple Blow and Combo Finish skill. Combo Finish skill can only be used after using the Raging Quadruple Blow skill. To use Raging Quadruple Blow skill, you need to deal a triple attack first. To activate the triple attack, you need the Torrential Rain skill. Torrential Rain skill have 8% chance to deal triple attack for every 100% attack speed that you have. At maximum 1000% attack speed, you have 80% chance to deal triple attack. To get 100% chance to deal triple attack, you need the triple attack skill. At max level, it gives additional 20% chance to deal triple attack. 80% from Torrential Rain skill, provided if you have maximum 1000% attack speed and 20% from the triple attack skill. So first, triple 
quadruple attack. Attack 3 times at around 40% damage each hit, then quadruple blow. Hit 4 times also at around 40% each hit, and finish it with the combo finish skill at 500% damage, and use 1 speed sphere. Now let's test this chain skill first, to see how much DPS we can have. Alright, that is the DPS. Next, the second chain skill combo, Tiger Knuckle Fist, Chain Crush combo and Flash combo skill. Tiger Knuckle Fist hit 4 times with each hit deal around 100% damage, and use 1 Spirit Sphere. This skill can only be used after using the combo finish skill. Next, the Chain Crush combo skill. This skill deal a whooping 850% skill damage. That is a lot of damage, and use 1 Spirit Sphere. At the same time, also increase your damage by 15% for 3 seconds. Now this skill is not necessarily to be used after the Tiger Knuckle Fist skill. It can also be used after the combo finish skill. So to maximize the damage output, we are going to use the Chain Crush combo skill first and get the 15% damage increase. Then use the Tiger Knuckle Fist skill after that. Now next is the Flash combo skill. Basically, it increases the skill casting speed by 5% for every 66% attack speed that you have but i really don't see how it make the skill cast faster because all of the skills so far do not have a casting time cooldown or does it mean the skill casting animation will be faster i really don't know about this okay let's test this two chain skill combo all right immediately we can see there is an increase on the dps That is the DPS. Next, the third chain skill, the Dragon Combo and the Fallen Empire skill. Now, I am not going to pass on the Asura Strike skill first because it is an independent skill, meaning it can be used with or without the chain skill. We're going to see it later how to fit it in the skill combination that we're going to use. So, the Dragon Combo and the Fallen Empire skill is a new chain skill. It does not depend on or need to be used after the combo finish skill. It can be used straight away. But the Fallen Empire skill can only be used after using the Dragon Combo skill. The Dragon Combo skill kick the target 2 times with 125% damage each. The Fallen Empire skill on the other hand deal a crazy 1200% damage and use 2 Spirit Spheres. This is absolutely the best Shura skill for me. It has low fixed cooldown and high damage. So with this skill chain combo, I will put it at the back after using the Chain Crush combo skill to benefit the 15% damage increase from the skill. So combo 1, combo 2, and combo 3. And let's test the damage.
all right another increase in dps now i don't want to use the gate of hell skill in auto skill slot this skill uses five spirit spheres and have only two seconds fixed cooldown it will use all of the spirit sphere making the other skill cannot be activated and the other skill the excruciating palm extraordinary steel body cursed circle and howling of lion are most effective in pvp now i personally think that the asura strike and gate of hell skill is best to be used manually and especially for instance bosses mvp hunt and pvp the asura strike skill will consume different amount of spirit spheres depending on what skill used before activating the asura strike skill but having said that let's see if it fit in the skill combination that we have so far the asura strike consume the least spirit sphere if it is used after the chain crash combo skill it will only use one spirit sphere so to increase the odd of activating it with less spirit sphere let's put it at the back of the chain crash combo skill Now it definitely increases the DPS, but the downside of it is that if you put it in auto, you will use a lot of SP potion because it consumes all of the SP each time it is used. I don't recommend you to use the spirit recovery skill because you will just stand still while you recover your SP. Even so, it will not recover that much. It is easier to just use the SP potion. You might want to use a few type of SP potion if you want to recover your SP faster. The SP potion penalty lasts for 6 seconds seconds you can't use other method to recover sp for six seconds other than the spirit recovery skill but the asura strike skill itself have four seconds fixed cooldown you can't spam use the skill so after four seconds just wait another two seconds to use your sp potion so that's just left it with two options you can either use the asura strike skills on auto but prepare a lot of sp potions or do not use it on auto use the asura strike skill only for pvp mvp hunt and instance bosses all right that's it for this video this time video shout out goes to thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for now i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye